hello all welcome back so we'll continue from our last video where we started creating our first airflow deck so we created two tasks as of now let me show you what we are trying to achieve so here we are trying to achieve uh, this design so where we'll stop the virtual machine first then take the machine image as a backup and if it is successful then we'll start a vm but if it is failed then we should go for another approach of backup that is a disk snapshot and after taking the disk snapshot we'll st start the vm again so we'll create two more tasks now to take a disk snapshot and to start the virtual machine so i'll go to code here so i have code here i'll add two more tasks called t3 and t4 so let me create one more task here called t3 and here as a t4 okay now this will be a bit confusing if i am giving t1 t2 t3 t4 what i will do i will just give the name of the operation to the task so it is easy for us to give the dependency so first stop vm then create image then we'll start vm and we'll create one more task which will be create snapshot if machine is failing machine image is failing then we'll go for a snapshot now let me update the command so to take a snapshot i already tested one command here i'll paste that uh, okay so this is our gcloud command to take a snapshot so i'll use this gcloud command okay here the name i'll give create snapshot okay this should be start vm and i'll update the command for vm start also so i'll copy the stop command and i'll just update to start now i'll remove this and now i'll add a dependency so what is the first task we need to execute we need to execute stop vm first okay after stop vm we have to execute create image okay after create image we have to start a vm okay now if a machine image or create image is failing then we have to execute create snapshot okay so here also i will give create snapshot and after create snapshot also i have to again start vm okay so i am giving this dependencies so yeah now i will just upload this file and we'll see how it will look like i'll simply save it and i'll upload a storage bucket so we'll use the same command okay let me see if file is uploaded here so this is here but i just want to confirm the time so currently it's 9 39 the time here showing is a 9 30 let me refresh yeah so it is showing 9 39 so we'll wait till the time it update here i'll keep refreshing it it might take a uh, 30 to 40 seconds or a minute also so i'll pause the video for the time okay it's more than 30 seconds let me refresh again and let me see if we have updated that yeah we have this updated a uh, deck structure now now you could correlate this with our design so after machine image if it is failed we are taking to the take this snapshot and if machine image is success we are going to start vm but how it will identify which one to execute on failure and which one to execute on a success for that we have to add one trigger rule so i think we missed that so here we have to add a trigger rule so start vm will execute when its 
GVS task is success. Okay, so we can add this trigger rule. So you can learn more about more about a uh, airflow trigger rule. And this snapshot would be triggered when previous one is failed. So I'll just add one failed. So what will happen if the previous task for this create snapshot is failed, then only it will trigger else it will skip. So this will trigger only if the create image is failed and this will trigger only if the previous one is success. So it can be create image or it can be a create snapshot. So let me refresh. I'll see if code is updated. So now this time we just added the trigger rule. So we can confirm it in the code if it is reflecting. So it's still not reflecting here. So we'll wait for a few more seconds. Oh, sorry, we missed to update the upload the file again. So let me upload the file again. And now it will take around 30 to 40 seconds to reflect in our DAG. So we got an import error. So in last video, I have explained when we get input error, whenever we have error in file, then we can get input error. So here is error in line number 42. So let me check what we have line number 42. Okay, so here we missed comma and that's why we got an error here also and here also. So let me save it again and let me push. So this is one painful task in airflow like you have to every time update and upload file to storage bucket dax folder so as i am using a gsd it's a bit easy for me but whenever we are doing it from local and then uploading using the console it will be very painful so now let's wait again for this error to go away okay error is gone now let me open this DAC. And let me validate in the code if we have trigger rules now. Yeah, we have trigger rules. Now let me go to the graph. Okay, now let me trigger a DAG from beginning or you can rerun so to rerun any task in a airflow you can just click on it and you can clear okay so what will happen it will clear its task and downstream so clear is nothing but a rerun in airflow now it will start from beginning first it will stop the vm i will show here See, it is stopping the VM. Then it will go for create image. So now I'll go for create image page. So currently nothing is here. I'll refresh once this task is started. Okay, now this word is started. Let me go here and refresh. You could see a machine image is getting created now. So our second task is executing fine. Now what will happen if second is completed? It will not go for this create snapshot because this will execute only when create image is failed. Then it will directly go to start VM and this create snapshot will be skipped so here you could see for skipped we have pink color so it will go in a pink color okay this one is completed let me refresh now 
now you could see this turn into pink because the status at the top you could see it skipped and it's starting the virtual machine now so if i go okay, let me refresh here we have machine here and uh, let me see the virtual machine it should be in start status okay it started now i will verify one more scenario that this create snapshot is running when this create image is failed so how i can verify that what i will do i'll simply rerun this dag again what will happen it will try to create the image but as image is already exist so this task will fail and then it will go for snapshot creation okay so i'll simply rerun so i'll rerun from here I'll click on clear so it will rerun our DAG. Okay. And now we'll see if this after create image failed, create snapshot will work or not. Okay. Now create image is failed and you could see, yeah, so create snapshot is running because we have given trigger rule as it would only execute if create image is failed and after this create snapshot completion only our vm will start so you could see the start vm is not yet running and it will start only when this create snapshot is successful if it is failed then vm also won't start yeah now this one is successful let me check if it created a snapshot so let me scroll down and verify yeah it created a snapshot you could see the time and let me verify the last one yeah now you could see so here we can manage multiple dependencies and dependent tasks in airflow so this was our first deck we have created it successfully now in next video we'll see more on a data processing side how we can create a deck for data processing so we'll see few examples like we'll load the data from gc storage bucket to bigquery and also we'll try to see how we can execute a python script or we use uh, operators in a dag so thank you for watching this video we'll see you in a next video